there. I want to take a look at importing a MIDI file into Reason. Okay, so I can go to Reason. I've got Reason open here and I'm going to go to File, Import MIDI File. And now I can use this to navigate to my MIDI file. If I can't find it, I can go through these little buttons here. So it's, it's on this drive in this folder. There it is. There's the file I want. I click Import. So what Reason does is it creates a number of these ID8 devices and assigns an instrument to them for each MIDI track. In this case, piano. Okay, so we'll play this. Now supposing I want to change the sound, okay? So one easy way to do that, I could go and into the menu here where all the sounds are kept. So maybe I've gone to rack extensions here. We've got radical piano. Okay, and these are all the piano sounds for the nicely sampled piano on reason, the radical piano. So let's say I take this and let's say I go with a uh, nice grand. So I can drop that onto here and that will swap the sound out. And I can do that just for all the tracks. So they've all got the same piano sound. Oops. Let's show you get the right one. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Now, say I go to the mixer here. What's nice to do is, okay, we've got the master effects bypassed. If I put these on, it'll give it more punch. And let's say on the mastering suite, and let's go with the eight band parallel compression. Brighten it up. Now, one thing I really like is the go to the rack here, just scroll up to the top to the master section on the racks. There's the rack. Okay, one effect I really like that Reason's brought in is the Audiomatic Retro Transform. It gives something more of a kind of like warm sound, more of a kind of less digital sound, as it were. Uh, so, if I just click um, just at the very top here, of all the rack extensions. I can add the effect by going create and effects, Audiomatic Retro Transformer, and that applies it as a master effect. So you can hear I can click through these different ones. So the tape gives it a nice tape saturation. You know, and you can go through like eerie, obviously, um, vinyl. So the tape one I like just gives it more character, warmth. There you go. So we've changed the piano sounds, we've imported the MIDI file, so I can now save that. And of course I can mix it in the usual way, with the mixer, and do lots of stuff. But that's a very quick and easy way to import a MIDI file into Reason, and then just use dropping uh, a patch you want onto the panel here uh, to change the sound. So thanks for watching.